Defining the extent of prostate cancer spread in men with newly diagnosed prostate cancer is really important for therapeutic decision making. This study uses a new novel imaging technique called PSMA or Prostate Specific Membrane Antigen, uh, PET-CT. We inject a radioactive small molecule uh, intravenously, it finds its way to prostate cancer cells and we then image the whole body on a positron emission tomography scanner, a PET scanner, and this enables us to visualize the distribution of disease spread with striking tumor to background contrast. In this study, we took 300 men with high-risk prostate cancer. Uh, this was defined by a uh, Gleason grade group 3, 4 or 5 disease, a PSA over 20 uh, or clinical T stage 3 uh, or higher. These men were then randomized to either PSMA PET CT uh, or this current standard of care bone scan and CT scan. Uh, we followed up these men for six months to determine their accuracy and we used all the information available up until that time point, uh, including repeat imaging uh, at six months to look at temporal changes in imaging. It's important to note that all men did cross over to the other imaging arm unless they had uh, three or more distant metastases uh, identified on the first line imaging. The primary endpoint for this study of accuracy showed a 27% uh, absolute superiority of PSMA PET CT compared to conventional imaging. So that's an accuracy of 92% uh, for PET-CT compared to 65% uh, for conventional imaging. And that's the combined findings of both CT and bone scintigraphy. Our randomized study also had a number of important secondary endpoints. The main one being management impact. How did the scan change the physician's management? This was collected using a questionnaire both before uh, scanning after first line imaging and after second line imaging and this showed a medium or high management impact in 15% of patients for conventional imaging compared to 28% for PSMA PET CT. Other important secondary endpoints included uh, equivocal results and we saw these uncertain findings in 23% of patients for conventional Im imaging compared to 7% of patients undergoing PSMA PET CT. CT and bone scan involves two procedures compared to one procedure for PSMA PET CT. So it was also pleasing to see a lower radiation exposure to our patients in those undergoing the experimental uh, procedure with a radiation exposure of eight millisieverts compared to 19 millisieverts for conventional imaging. In conclusion, this multicenter randomized study of men with high risk prostate cancer has showed that PSMA PET CT is a suitable replacement for CT scanning and bone scanning, providing superior accuracy, a cons consequent management change, fewer equivocal results, and lower radiation exposure.